very thoroughly fit the submarine of the submarine service, and they certainly fitted the 46,000 men and 4,000 officers that served in submarines in the Pacific in World War II. I was highly honored to command that force. Oh, fine. Well, let's watch a submarine now and see what, uh, what would uh, happen under full activity. Up periscope. Bearing mark 829. Range mark 6100. Down periscope. Angle on the bow, starboard 15. Right full rudder. Right full rudder. All ahead two-thirds. All ahead two-thirds. New course 240. New course 240. What's the distance to the track? 1700. Control 63 feet. Control 63 feet. Forward torpedo room, make ready all tubes. Forward torpedo room, make ready all tubes. Set depth 12 feet. Set depth 12 feet. Rake for silent running. Rake for silent running. Rake for depth charge. Rake for depth charge. Steady on 250. All ahead, one third. All ahead, one third. How much time I got? None, sir. Torpedo run one one double O. Range about one six double O. Gyro zero zero five increasing. Shoot any time. Stand by forward. Stand by forward. Up periscope. Check bearing and shoot. Bearing. Mark. B four five. Down periscope. Set. Fire. By one. One fire, sir. Fire. Fire two. Two fired. Fire. Fire three. Three fired. Set. Fire. Fire four. It is inevitable that in accomplishing her mission, the submarine will expose herself to retaliation. Now let's take a look and see how the enemy fights back. Fine. Deal. Depth charging. Well, that was certainly nerve-wracking. Did that sub get away, Admiral? That one did, but we lost 52 in World War II, and 39 of them, we don't know what happened to them. But we think most of them were lost to depth charge. We lost a total of 374 officers and 3,131 men. Well, it's certainly sad and very unfortunate that we should have those losses, but let's look and see what the submarines did. On this chart, we see that the, the tonnage, for example, of the uh, submarines in the Pacific Warfare a miscellaneous type of shipping sunk in millions of tons, mines, uh, surface craft, and then land-based aircraft. You see they sunk quite a bit more than uh, carrier-based aircraft. And finally, submarines sunk about 5 million tons, 73% of the total uh, sunk in the Pacific. Now, I know uh, that uh, one of your chief interests is the midget submarine, and I read your article recently in Collier's. Uh, what can you tell us about midget subs? Well, in my opinion, Earl, the midget submarine is one of the deadliest weapons ever devised. Mm -hmm. It won its spurs in World War II. Four navies used it, uh, the British and the Italians, with a special eff effectiveness. It's, she's so small that she can fit in your backyard, and she can enter waters that no large-size, full-size submarine could enter. Mm -hmm. be carried by helicopters? And she could be carried by way. helicopters, and her crew can leave her the ship to put mines on the bottom of uh, enemy ships, mm -hmm. and the laying of an atomic mine in an enemy harbor would be very simple. Mm -hmm. Well, now, suppose we join, uh, rejoin Admiral Nimitz, because I know one of his favorite subjects is the uh, submarine of the future, and perhaps uh, Admiral Nimitz can give us an idea on the uh, Nautilus uh, mural here, just what this means. Well, Earl, you see here one of the deadliest submarines of all time the atomic-powered USS Nautilus. She is very much like the conventional submarine in that she has everything that a conventional submarine has. She has a diesel engine, she has <coughs> batteries, but her main propulsive plant is atomic-powered, an atomic-powered boiler 
which depends on its heat from an, uh, a, an atomic pile. And that generates steam in the boiler, which passes into a steam turbine. Now, this submarine has many capabilities, some of which you've heard, heard about. Time does not permit us to tell about all of them, but the submarine, with this atomic powered plant, will give us an indication of how atomic energy can be used for purposes of peace. Well, that's certainly uh, putting it very pointedly, Admiral Emmons. I want to thank you for coming to Science and Action to be with us and bring this fine material. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you and to join you in the program and to meet my old shipmate, Charlie Lockwood, who commanded our submarines so efficiently and effectively in World War II. It's a great pleasure to me, sir, to meet my big boss in the Pacific. Oh, as well. Now, I want to say thanks to you, too, Admiral thank Lockwood. You, I'll be back in just a moment.